morning. This morning, I got the dump truck attached to the trailer with the skid steer, and we are going out to Bird Key. There is a seawall repair that needs done. We're going to be bringing some sand back with the skid steer. And this is different than a normal one because we are picking up three rows of pavers and then adding sand to the holes from the sinking areas. It's leaking out of the seawall somewhere. And a seawall patch guy is coming to fix it. So he fills the seawall with foam. He fills the holes and the cracks with this foam material and it stops leaks. And then we come back after he's done filling it with foam and relay the pavers. So Jose will be there. Freddie will be there. Dylan's coming in. And then uh, we might go to St. Armand Circle and do some more hurricane cleanup. We were doing hurricane cleanup yesterday, but I didn't film any of it. Because uh, I don't want to stick a camera in people's faces whenever they're going through a, a travesty like they've been going through, you know. So... I don't know if I'm going to film what we're going to do after the seawall repair. So this video might just be a seawall repair video. But uh, we'll see. First thing I need to do, unattach the trailer. Dump this from all the crap that we got in it yesterday. Which is a bunch of seaweed and leaves and a whole bunch of yard debris. And then uh, dump that, reattach the trailer, and go and get some 250 paver sand. So I will see you guys. I don't know when I'll see you. I'll see you soon. We did these pavers a long, long time ago. Hola. Muchas gracias, Rafa. Sí. Señor, Adiós, igual. How are you? Hey. How are you doing, my friend? Good. How are you? Good. Tell me about your house. Hmm. My mom said you got water. A lot. How much water? Like uh. Maybe 12 inches, 14 inches. You wake up floating? No, I know why there. Oh, where were you? I was in uh, Oklahoma. Oh, yeah, Oklahoma? No, I was at the hotel. Oh, <laughs> so you evacuated? Yeah. So I'm not trust that little house. Yeah. So I want to sleep good in the night, and you know what happened if you're sleeping real good and when the Feeling our oh, flood in the water. Let's see, I gonna say maybe. Oh, I'm dreaming. <laughs> so how is it now? I gonna start to put the tire today. Oh okay. Yeah. When you got home, it was smelling in the house. It smelled like salt water. Yeah. Well, I already cleaning everything. Oh, you did? Everything. Nice. I, I take it out. Everything. My my bed. I put in the garbage. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. So. I want to put in everything here. I got to buy all new shit. Mm -hmm. No good. No good. But that's good because I pay for my bed $50 in the yard sale. So, so it's time for a new bed? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe get a nice one so you can actually sleep good. I already bought one for $3,000. $3,000, my friend. Jeez. Yeah. Big spender. Yeah. Big spender. Jeez, man. Somebody got that temper heated. Yeah. <laughs> I want to sleep in like a Blanca Nieve. Yeah. <laughs> you get it already? No, I want to wait first. I get everything ready. Oh, yeah, get ready for it. So, where are you sleeping right now? The hotel. Oh, man, you still at the hotel? It's a lot of money. Yeah. I have like two million to spend it. So. <laughs> So I guess I'm only going to be able to come in with the skid steer down here and put in the wheelbarrow and then we don't have to take sand over here. So we're going to fill it out now with the, the sheet? Yeah, sand. Yeah. 
So I guess, remember the last job we did? Whenever we left, the next day, landscaper came out, the guy's landscaper, and he filled it all with sand and compacted it. And then the guy put the foam in. So you have to compact it and all that before he puts the foam in, or else it's just wasting foam, I guess. I don't know how he still gets down there, but my mom said he does. So you gotta fill it all in with sand and then leave the pavers open so he can come put the foam and then we're gonna come back and put the pavers. Mm. You guys attend to? Yeah. Si, senor. And then hold it on your way back. No, I hold it, yeah, there. Hold it that way so it's clicking. You don't need to hold it when you're pushing it this way, just when it's, so it clicks. It's like a ratchet, you know. Put those ramps up for, or actually move that machine. So put that lap bar down, turn it on. Hold it. Yep. And now lift your bucket up with the other one. And now back it up, put it in the driveway. That one.
Now Dylan, move that sand. Freddie, wait. Let Dylan move that sand. compactor got like half wheelbarrow more sand left that's it yeah that's crazy we don't have no water what no water no water there's a lot right there yeah it looks like he, he did it already yeah but the thing i i you just want to compact it right because they're going to fill it up there yeah it's, yeah we just going to compact it nice And then we out of here, man. Theory is that if we clean them and then seal them, that it'll stay that color and not turn orange again. But the sealer, this sealer, is they got to be dry. Oh. So you got to clean them and then wait a couple hours till they're dry. Maybe hit it with the blower. Something. Over there in the same house? Yeah. The travertine? Yeah. Where we put the concrete? Yeah. And oh, so we live in the uh, lumber and bark, right? Yep. Where she, we clean it up <laughs> twice. She <laughs> said that she wants you to also pick up an area on the driveway, just like a little section, and dig the sand and see if the sand underneath is discolored or what. Oh. So you're already putting sealant and everything? No, 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 no. No? Just four pavers. You'll see it when you get there. They're white. And everything oh. else is like orange and dirty looking. So today, with that one gallon you have, I would clean the walkway. The walkway. Because it's only, that gallon's only going to cover the walkway. So I'd clean the walkway real good. She said that she was going to Tampa to get the hydrogen peroxide stuff. And then she was going to meet you over there. And give you the hydrogen peroxide to pour on it and then pressure wash it off and then put the sealer on the walkway if it looks clean and good after it dries and then that orange stuff should not come back and if it doesn't come back on that walkway then we're going to do that with the whole driveway clean it really good really good until the orange stuff is gone and then seal it the same day because it seems like when you clean it and you wait till the next day some of the orange stuff come back already mm. so we gotta like kind of do it 
all at the same time but that sealer it can't be wet so that's the issue so why we not like clean today good and put the sealer tomorrow because like i just said when you clean it oh. it's like oh, in one day it's back already not as bad obviously as when you clean it but it's still you'll see some orange stuff i mean maybe you can try it as long as you just got to see today like stay there until it dries and when it dries if some of the orange stuff comes back you might have to clean it again because it's hard to tell when you clean it that if the orange stuff is going to come back because you cleaned it remember mm -hmm. and it was looking good but then the orange stuff come back the next day not as bad as it was but it still come back And we need to get paid for that job. That's a big job that we still haven't got paid for. Because it looked like shit. Well, what do you think was the problem right there? I think it's the... Either the sand underneath, even though the sand don't look orange when I took up some pavers. Remember the one day you took up a paver? The sand looks fine. So I think it could be... The water. Maybe the water or the... um. There was a lot of stumps underneath that they grinded them down and a lot of mulch that I scooped out of there But maybe there's still some mulch in there that somehow is doing that. I don't know it Or the sweep looks sand like, it looks like a puddle of water sitting on it Right, but there's no but I don't think there's ever been a puddle of water sitting on it's the issue Because there's so much low area around it or the water there's always puddles on the yard, but never on it's the weird that be in that one spot. driveway Gracias, señores. See you next week. Just call, call my mom. Okay. Oh, yeah, let me give you the sealer. Yeah. This is for hot thing. No, just the walkway. The walkway. Just the walkway. It's all you're cleaning and sealing today. Put it with the sprayer, right? Yep, sprayer. Spray it on, all nice and good. You can do two coats on it if it's all clean and dry. Remember, it has to be dry for that.